Hey everyone, in this video I'll go over everything you need to know to install the Infernal Eclipse of Ragnarok mock pack. In the first part of the video, I'll show how to install the pack on your client, and on the second part, I'll show you how to play the pack on multiplayer, both using Steam, and how to download the pack on a dedicated server. Let's get started. Let's begin with installing the pack on your client. All of the links that you will need will be in the description of the video. You'll see that there is two versions of the mod pack, the normal pack and the performance pack. Infernal Eclipse of Ragnarok can be a pretty demanding pack especially towards the end game with some of the most resource heavy effects. If you don't think that your PC can handle the full version, select the performance pack. You'll have the same essential content mods as the regular pack, but some of the smallest mods will be removed as well as adding performance mods. Once you have chosen the pack you want, make sure that you are logged into your Steam account on this page and click on subscribe to all and add only. Then go back to the video description and on the second link and download the zip file called Infernal Eclipse of Ragnarok files which should have a JSON file file called enabled and a folder called mod config. When this is done, open tmod loader and you should have a pop-up saying that new mods have been added. Go to your installed mods on the workshop and click on open mod folder. Here you will see that there is a file called enabled.json. Take the enable file you downloaded and put it in the mod folder. It will ask you if you want to replace the file, say yes. Then go out of the mod folder to the tmod loader folder and go to mod config and paste the content of the mod configs you downloaded. It will ask you again if you want to replace the files, say yes. Then relaunch Tmod Loader, you should see all of the mods loading. Once the mods have been loaded, go to the workshop hub, then mod packs, save enabled as new mod pack, and name it how you want. This will create a mod pack that you can re-enable later without having to do the whole maneuver all over again. Now you should be ready to play the pack. Using Steam is the free option to play multiplayer. Before starting, just make sure that all of the players have the same mods and the same version of each mod installed. Next, host the world and invite your friends. Next, let's cover how to install the mod pack on a dedicated server. First, it's choosing which servers you want your server from. Personally, I highly recommend choosing BSect hosting for your server, especially since they have integrated features making it much easier to install mod pack, which I'll cover in a bit. Next comes the choice for the amount of dedicated RAM you want to choose. For a mod pack like Infernal Eclipse of Ragnarok, choose between 6GB and 8GB depending on the number of players you're planning to have. Don't forget to use code BROM for 25% off your first month and you'll get the following prices for the different options available. Once you have made your purchase and have access to the panel, go to the startup tab and choose Tmod Loader 1.4 for the install type, turn on workshop collection ID and paste the last link you'll find in the description depending on the mod pack you want to play and have installed on your client and start your server. As a quick side note while the mods are being downloaded, be aware that for now, BSEC Toasting is the only service allowing you to download mod packs from a Steam collection, so if you already have a server from a different service or are hosting your server locally, you'll have to put the mods individually in the server file. Now, go take a look at the console, you should see all of the mods being downloaded, then your world being created, which may take a while. Make sure that the world being created is actually a modded one by looking at if certain modded structures are actually being generated like the abandoned village or planetoids. Once all of this is done, you should be able to join the server normally. As said earlier, just make sure that both the client and the server have the same mods and versions installed, otherwise the server will ask you to disable the mods it doesn't recognize. Well, that's going to be it for today's video. If you don't know already, I'm currently in the process of making a full progression guide for this mod pack, which should be coming out soon. It will be divided in three parts for pre hard mode, hard mode, and post moon road. I hope to be able to upload the first part of the guide for early December and the rest coming out soon after. You can check if parts of the guides have been released by looking at the description, there should be links to them once they come out. With that said, I hope this video was useful and I'll see you soon for the first part of the progression guide.